Hi, I am Dr. Sridhar Kalyana Sundaram. Welcome to my channel. We have been discussing a series for uh, nurses and trainees and in this video we will be discussing the correct feeding tube position, how we can ensure that it is in the correct position and where we aim it to be. So this is the feeding tube and you can see that it is in the stomach in this baby. This is the stomach. So a high feeding tube will stop anywhere uh, from the gastroesophageal junction. It may be in the esophagus, high up. Uh, the second position, it's a little high, but it is in the stomach when we need to push it in a little bit. A deeper position will mean it has reached the posterior wall of the stomach and it may be long enough to, when it moves in the stomach, it can enter into the first part of duodenum, crossing the pylorus. So, uh, a high feeding tube which is in the esophagus or the gastroesophageal junction leads to a high risk of vomiting. So if there is repeated vomiting in a baby on tube feeding, I would suggest doing an x-ray uh, if you are not sure of the tube position. Uh, in a baby who is uh, having immature uh, airway protective mechanisms, you may end up in aspiration pneumonia when you are giving the tube feeds, there is a high risk of aspiration as well. If the feeding tube is deep, it can go past the pylorus, so there may be feed intolerance and we may also get greenish aspirates if you do check residuals and then this makes you worry whether the baby has delayed gastric emptying. So the first thing to check if you have a greenish aspirate is whether the feeding tube has migrated deeper in and so you can pull it back and that will resolve the problem. You don't need to hold the feeds or work up for an easy for example. How do we confirm if the position is in the right place? So we should aspirate the stomach contents and use it on a pH paper. Uh, the color change which suggests acidic pH is taken as uh, confirmation. Uh, in some babies you don't get the aspirates in which case you turn the baby to the side and recheck the aspirate after 15-20 minutes. If you still don't get aspirates you can reposition again and try again. Uh, if it keeps uh, happening uh, you can push in a very small amount of saline and draw it back to check the position. Uh, the litmus paper is less reliable though it can be used if you don't have pH paper. Uh, pushing air and auscultating which was often used is not recommended in babies especially because it's very difficult to differentiate the air movements uh, from the foot pipe to the stomach and it can be easily a high tube which can be missed. If you don't have any confirmation from the pH paper and you are worried about feeding you should do the x-ray and if the x-ray is being done for a respiratory condition have the feeding tube inserted already so you don't need to repeat the x-ray just for this. It's always uh, handy to have the x-ray confirmation then the nurse can make a note of where it is fixed. Uh, babies don't grow that quickly so for a week or so the same position is fine. We have two main measurements the nose to ear to dizzy sternum which is in short necks and uh, so from the nose to the ear lobe and then to the dizzy sternum. So usually these measurements uh, are a little short and uh, you may need to add one or two centimeters. The nose to ear lobe to just above the midpoint of the Ziffy sternum. This is a more recent uh, practice because we found the next was coming up short in many cases. So from the midpoint between the Ziffoid and the umbilicus, so you are measuring from there. And uh, this will give you uh, the measurement for uh, the feeding tube to be inserted. You may add one centimeter if it is a nasogastric tube uh, in both cases. So for next, uh, you may add two centimeter uh, to reach the right position or a proportion of it though with practice you may define it and always write down the measurement and if you have done an x-ray always uh, confirm the position. So it's very important that we uh, review this on a regular basis whenever an x-ray is done or if there is any concern like altered aspirates you can double check this as well. I hope this is useful. Please share. Thank you.